Welcome to Behind the Shot with 860, episode one, New Congress CCSU. In this series, I'm gonna be breaking down how I got the specific images from this past game of UConn football, what kind of gear I used, my thought process during capturing those images, everything that went into the shot. For this episode, we're gonna be starting with UConn football season opener. So first thing first, what kind of gear did I use? For the camera, body, I was using the Sony Alpha 7 Trace with the FE 24 to 105 millimeter lens at F4. And for pregame, I was lucky enough to use the DJI Ronin to get some smooth cinematic shots. First shot that I had to get was Jim Mora getting off the bus. Be honest, not my best work. <laughs> yeah, the Ronin kind of took me for a spin there. I didn't know exactly how to use it. Um, I was a little sloppy with it. So. After that first shot, um, you can kind of see on the walk-in, it was a little little bumpy. Um, when Moore first got off the bus, I completely kind of missed it. So for like the next 30 minutes, I was just playing around with the motor. Just boom, boom. Seeing what worked, seeing what didn't. And I felt like I, as Warren started kind of going on, I felt like I, I was actually getting the hang of it and starting to use it correctly. So this allowed me, I thought, to get some pretty awesome shots during the pregame. Um, some of my favorite ones that I want to walk you guys through here. The first one, Durante, before he was walking out to warm-ups. I mean, he's just standing in this perfect spot. I love the frame of this shot. I used this shot like the frame probably about 50, 60 times, and it worked almost every time. Uh, the way it was kind of slanted up, leading up to them, and then the walls on the side, it was just a great frame. Some things looking back at, I wish I could almost used more movement with the Ronin because um, while, I, while I was in the act, you know, recording, I didn't realize how well the runner was working. I was, I was a little worried that it would maybe a little jumpy at some times, and I just wanted to keep it smooth and make it good enough. And then when I looked back at the footage, you know, after the game, I was like, man, I, I could have really gone crazy with that and, and used more movement and really made the shots kind of... But, hey, that's why we're here. That's why we're learning. So next week, I guarantee you, I'm just going to be buzzing all over the place running with that thing, trying to see what kind of shots I can get. I'm excited, I loved using the Ronin. Uh, my first time ever using a Ronin and I was, I didn't expect to like it that much and I, I liked it a lot more than I thought. During the game, also didn't do my best work and be honest there, I was getting a little <laughs> bullied out of the way and I kind of ended up about like, you know, two sets back, you know, from the game and I didn't get those best action shots because a lot of times you know while the action was going on someone was walking away the auto folks would mess up i think i can get a lot better shots during the game than i did during this game you know but overall i was pretty pleased at how it turned out um i loved using the running i thought for the sideline for what you know the positions i was in i thought i still did get some pretty good shots uconn got the dub so next week i'm really excited i'm gonna be bullying my way i'm gonna be freaking front row i'll be right behind jim mora getting those shots in the box during the game and then the ronin i'm gonna be buzzing moving all around getting all different kind of shots i'm excited uconn football is coming up let me know if you guys want to know any more about the shots thank you for guys checking in hit that subscribe button go us